Welcome back to another edition of DXB Today. This is our stress-free episode because we are addressing emotional release, stress, dust, and whatever you might want to call it. Everybody has a little bit of stress in them, but how do you uh, evacuate that? How do you release that? Well, we put together a who's who of guests to help us on that journey. Next guest is a meditation mentor. Uh, also happens to be an award-winning architect and creative director embodying a human-centered design approach towards uh, people-inspired uh, experiences. Please welcome to DXB today, uh, Ragdan Hassan, who joins us live here on the set. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this one. Thank you. A calming influence. Exactly. On an otherwise, well, I was going to say otherwise stressed. This is a calming <laughs> influence over there. But it's great to have, I'm fascinated about this with the multiple caps that you wear, you know, uh, meditation mentor, award-winning architect. How do the two caps that you wear, the two skills that you apply, inform each other? Yes, well, I started off as an architect, yeah. eventually grew into several awards in the design world. However, as my fellow architects may know and designers, it became very stressful. And so I had a bit of an experience where I experienced an accident. And from there, I resorted to energy healing to try to better my life and develop personally. From then on, uh, I started taking on different certifications and it became sort of an obsession to kind of heal and meditate and improve myself. And eventually when I realized its positive influences on my life, I decided to share that with others. And eventually now I teach at different centers, I guide meditations at cinemas, I also host energy healing circles across Dubai. And it's become sort of this fine tuning and balance between the corporate and design world mm -hmm. with the meditation world. Problem so both pro problems are <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so why do you think it's so important to integrate emotional release into our lives and like also our work lives that like you were saying on the corporate world like why do you think it's important to kind of understand that of course well I think everyone should engage in a practice of emotional release we all have such stressful lives and with everything going on lately we need to develop certain practices or engage in certain techniques in order to regulate our nervous system on a day-to-day -day practice and so utilizing aspects such as your breath engaging in a certain breathing exercise for example where you breathe in for five seconds and exhale for five seconds helps regulate the nervous system or even practices such as self-inquiry questioning the thoughts that result in stress, questioning why you're experiencing such a thought. And there's also aspects such as energy healing and visualization that you should engage in, where you can visualize this cleansing sort of light that takes away energy from the body. These are very important in our day-to-day -day life because life has gotten quite stressful with everything going on. And so these are practices that you can engage in. Any, anything you'd like to add to what you're hearing here? Yeah, as I mean, we're talking a lot about stress, you know, and really stress, when we talk about it here, is emotional stress. So energy, when we talk about it, a lot of people don't really can grasp that. So my question for you is to, um, how does energy and emotion relate for you exactly? Mm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, energy is stored in the body. Even as children, when we experience certain traumas or certain emotional experiences that are heavy on us as children, it doesn't have to be something super dramatic. Trauma is essentially, as children, something that happens and it results in us being in a space where we are kind of unsure of what to do. We don't know how to react. And that sort of energy, it stays with us. And it also develops certain limiting beliefs at how we see and view the world. So once we experience trauma, we start to see the world through that lens. And because that energy lives in the body, whenever we experience something that is what we may refer to as a trigger, that energy is then activated and you start to experience that anger, that stress all over again. And so when that does happen, and it does happen for all of us, you really, for example, just want to practice placing your hand into that area where you're feeling that energy and breathing into that space. At first, you might experience some discomfort because you're actually opening up that space where the stress, but then as you regulate the nervous system, you're going to be releasing that energy in order for moving forward, you don't experience it with such intensity. So they're both extremely related. I mean, I find what you're saying to be fascinating. I had an MRI recently mm -hmm. and unexpectedly had a insane panic attack that I've never had before. And every time I talked about the MRI yeah. afterwards, that same panic attack would be triggered, which was 
so <laughs> he's like, are you saying this on TV? <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking wait for the panic attack to happen. No, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna have a panic attack now. I've been dealing with this for a while now, but um. But yeah, I'm wondering, I'm doing the breathing. What other advice do you have? Because there's obviously something that's been triggered there. Um, Definitely. Whether trauma from the news or, you know, too much stress that I'm, because both of you have been saying, you know, you're not releasing emotions. I feel like I'm releasing emotions, but what if you're having the same kind of emotion day after day after day? And, and I don't know, that's mm. building up. No, I hear you. Um, it, it's natural that it happens. There's something specific that you may have experienced as a younger child whether it's maybe receiving news about your own well-being or maybe you always feared, for example, how your parents experienced their own health. Something from the past, like it always is, has been triggered. And the idea is, I mean, the general advice is a consistent practice of meditation, but through tools, for example, that you may use in, with a practitioner such as Theta Healing or Reiki, it's really about diving in and understanding where did this start and how is it serving me to experience this trauma? What's it trying to shed light on that I need to release? I think we sometimes forget that there is this path that we're on, on our journey to actually release and heal and grow and evolve. And these emotions that may come up at times, sometimes we really resist them. And we're always like, no, 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 we don't want to experience it. But that's actually sending you a message. This is where there's some work to do. This is where we can evolve as beings in order to serve and in order to love more and in order to expand our consciousness. So in those specific motions, yes, the idea is to become in a more kind of holistic way, trying to breathing into those spaces, visualizing it clearing, questioning, inquiring as to why you're experiencing this, but also potentially looking into therapy, evolving with a practitioner, an energy healer, a meditation guide. These are all helpful tools. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for giving us that incredible insight. I'm sure Dina was really feeling <laughs> it that she was taking <laughs> notes, I'm sure. Good advice on TV. <laughs> thank you, thank you so, so much, much for having me. So now we are going to take a deep dive into another method of healing that can be done through sound immersion. So we sent Mefa down to Kayani Wellness to try out a special sound healing session firsthand. So let's check it out. Welcome to Kayani Wellness. I'm Zareen Dadatanji. I facilitate sound and gong meditations in Dubai. I will now guide you through a sound immersion journey. I'm here at Kayani Wellness Center where I'm going to be going on a journey of healing through sound meditation. So follow me as I find out more about what this meditation is all about. We're here in this beautiful studio yes. where sound meditation is being performed. So can you explain to us what sound meditation is and yes. how it works? Yes. First, Kiani is this beautiful space that I fell in love with the first time I walked into it. The owners are amazing, the workers are beautiful here. Regarding how sound works with the body, I usually explain with the water bowl and we use the water bowl to explain that our bodies have 76% and more water and other liquids in them. And when you listen to the sounds of the bowls and the gongs and the other instruments, the sound enters through every pore of our skin and the whole body becomes like a giant ear. Science tells us that water is a wonderful conductor for sound. So it takes the sound to every cell in the body that needs any kind of rest, any kind of relaxation, any kind of cleansing, clearing, restructuring, rejuvenating and healing at a very deep cellular level. And every system of healing will tell you that a balanced body is a body on its way to what we call perfect health. I pick up things when I travel and uh, the learning never ends. So each instrument brings forth, you know, a different sound. We need to comprehend the difference between music and sound because with music, I know it's very healing and at different times you like to listen to, uh, to different sounds where the music is concerned. But music 
keeps the mind held because there is a pattern, a sequence, a rhythm, a tune. Whereas with sound, we usually don't have a pattern, sequence, rhythm, and tune. So the mind tries to hold on, but then gives up and moves away. Wellness has become such a big thing in Dubai, you know. So what sound does is that it moves into these various spaces, shakes up and releases the emotion. Uh, once they wake up, they, they feel often that there has been some kind of progress towards that particular intention being fulfilled. concludes my first sound meditation session and what a peaceful experience that was. If you haven't tried it yet, come down to Kayani Wellness Center and try it out yourself. Maitha there, uh, truly unwinding. We do understand she has made it back into the studio, which is good news. Right, uh, still plenty to come. Let's check out what is coming up. I caught up with Hollywood superstars bringing Bad Boys Ride or Die to the city with an exclusive interview and also tested this duo out to see just how well they actually know each other. <laughs> yes, and after this, we're overcoming the pressures of negative beliefs with the power of mind hacking and we've got music to keep you hooked, so stay with us. <laughs> 